So during the course of the past week, I got COVID-19. Before anyone asks, I'm not an anti-vaxxer, I did vaccinate myself, I was wearing a mask, I still got it, which I guess goes to show that you can never be too safe. But as soon as I got sick, I was not in the condition to make a video. So as I was recovering, I was sort of taking it easy, not making any videos, but it was also a really, really boring period for me. I had literally nothing to do. So I decided to learn a new skill. I decided to learn how to God bridge. And luckily for me, I recorded the entire process of me learning so I could make a video on it. I do want to say really quickly before we get into the video that we just launched our new Valley Desk Pads on the Flow Shop. They come in two colorways, blue and pink, and they look so good in person. They're actually really nice. We also restocked our Midnight Desk Pads as well because a lot of people have been wanting them. So if you guys want a really high quality desk pad to complement your setup, then check out the link in the description below. But anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is figure out what mouse I want. So I don't think I've ever showed this off on camera before, but here is my mouse collection right here. Also have another tray right here. So the mouse that I was looking for was this one right here, which is the Bloody A Bedless. This is like the go-to mouse for god bridging, but when I plugged this in, this mouse actually didn't work at all, which is absolutely ridiculous because I used this mouse for a week when I made my initial video on it, and then I stuffed it in the drawer, but like when I took it out, it just didn't work, which is absolutely insane considering how little I've used this mouse. Bloody products are absolute trash. Don't use bloody products. Instead, I opted to use this mouse right here, the Rokat Kane 100. I know there's some other big YouTubers like not Nico who mains this mouse for drag clicking so this was my second best option. Okay so I had my mouse but I did want to get tape. I know that you don't need tape to drag click but I personally find it easier to use tape. So I tried all different types of tape as you can see this one right here is just the tape that came with the Pulse Fire Haste. This is electrical tape. I didn't really like using this. This felt way way too grippy to me. I couldn't drag with electrical tape but what actually works really well for me was masking tape. Masking tape doesn't really have grip to it, but it does have texture. And I actually found that it was really, really easy to drag click when I was using masking tape. The Pulse Fire Haze grip tape was fine, but I just wanted to use something new, so I opted for masking tape. And as you can see, I cut out a small strip of the masking tape, put it on the right click, and you can see that drag clicking is super, super easy with this. Okay, so I had my mouse and I had my tape, and I was pretty much ready at this point to start god bridging, so I went ahead and launched up a single player world, and I was ready to give it a shot. So I already knew the very basics of god bridging. You're supposed to disable view bobbing, then look at the very top of the block, the very first pixel, make sure you're lined up properly, then time your short drags, and jump every eight or so blocks. Can't be that hard, right? <laughs> Okay, so I'll admit it, it wasn't that simple. I was not getting far at all, so I decided to go back to basics and look up a god bridging tutorial. The one that I found and watched was by Digital Smiles, and I'll leave the video in the description below if you're interested in watching it. Okay, so after watching his video, there are two big things that I took note of. The first has to do with timing your drag clicks. If you're short dragging too slowly, then you'll place blocks below the bridge, while if you're short dragging too fast, then you won't place any blocks at all. This knowledge really helped me with my timings because I could visually see if I was short dragging too fast or too slow. The second thing I noticed was my FOV was a lot lower than his, so I decided to raise it from 78 to 90, and that actually did help me a decent amount. Having a larger FOV sort of makes it a little bit easier to visually see when you actually need to place the blocks. And then one final thing that I did was I completely disabled my block placement sounds because it was really confusing me hearing both me drag clicking and the blocks placed in-game at the same time. I have open back headphones, which means I can pretty much hear everything around me while I'm wearing my headphones, including my mouse sounds, and hearing me drag clicking and the block placement sound at the same time was really throwing me off, so I decided to disable the block placement sound altogether. This helped me focus on my short drag timings a lot better, and it really helped me improve. There was one more thing that I actually tried which I thought might have helped, and that was god bridging music. The idea of this is that the music is supposed to help you time your drag clicks, so take a listen for yourself. Okay, so this was a pretty cool concept, but it actually didn't really help me that much. I felt like whenever I focused super hard on the music, it sort of just messed me up. What sort of helped me more was paying a lot more attention visually to see like when I needed to place blocks. I don't know, I feel like the music messed me up more times than it helps me, but maybe that's just me. Okay, so I ran into one major roadblock, and that was when I was drag clicking. My mouse was not staying still, it was constantly slowly going up, which resulted in my crosshair slowly going up as well, which was messing me up. So I know that some people, they rest their palm on the back of their mouse and then they drag click, but I can't do that consistently. I just found it way too difficult. So what I did instead, and I actually think this is pretty big brain, 
is I took my mouse pad and I flipped it over. So this entire surface is like really sticky and really grippy. And when I put my mouse on it, it basically just stays stuck to the surface. Now, this is obviously unusable for like almost everything because you, you can't really move your mouse while it's like stuck to the surface. But for God bridging, this was really, really nice because as you can see, whenever I drag click, my mouse stays completely still. So it works perfect for what I'm using it for. Okay, so after doing this for like a solid hour, and you can like see how much I did it, like I, I can just keep on going in a straight line, like, and you can see all my progress. But after practicing this for so long, I was finally able to God bridge like an actual reasonable amount in a single player world. So I'll show that right here. God. Okay, so I was finally confident enough god bridging in a single player world where I wanted to actually go on a server and start setting some scores. So the first server I went on was MC Play HD, and here's how it went. No! I was struggling. Like, I was seriously struggling a lot on the server. I could not god bridge on the server at all. It was so different compared to single player. And that wasn't something that I was expecting, but in hindsight, I probably should have been prepared for it. I learned that single player and multiplayer god bridging are pretty different from each other, especially if you're playing on a server where you have 180 MS, which I had on MC Play HD. I was not timing it right at all, so I gave up and I decided to go on Bridger.lan, which was Bedless Noob server. They have pretty much the same thing, except I get around 80 MS to it, which is a lot less laggy than MC Play HD. There's two fast bridger game modes on the server, a short distance one and a long distance one, and I started with the short distance one, and after a while, and I mean a while of attempts, I finally god bridged to the other side. I got my first actual god bridge on the server. Oh my god. I did it. And I mean, this was monumental for me because I had not pictured myself god bridging ever in my entire life, but here I was actually setting my first score. But you know, I wasn't gonna try and stop there. I was going to go for the longer distance god bridge. And after about another hour of attempts, I finally did it. It's just like an infinite loop of making the same two mistakes. Boomst! There, join BC. Oh. What I. Uh, I'm Peter. No! Ah! <laughs> No! Oh my god, that took a million years. I did it. So, after about two hours of my time, I was finally able to do a full 45 block god bridge. And just to make sure that it wasn't a fluke, I did do it a few more times. And I think with that, I can now officially call myself an actual god bridger, even though it might be mediocre at best. Now, I do want to say, even though I can god bridge now, I don't think I'm going to get any more into the bridging community. My goal was to see if I could god bridge if I really pushed myself, and I was able to meet that goal. But it's not really something I see myself continuously doing, because I don't like the fact that I have to change to a different mouse which I don't really like using that much, just to be able to god bridge. That has always really bothered me about bridging, but regardless, it still was really fun to push myself and actually see me god bridge. Anyways, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. I wanna say thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it to the end of the video, it really does mean a lot to me. If you guys wanna help support me as a creator, then check out my Lunar Cosmetics in the description below. I'm probably gonna take my ghost cloak off of the store really soon, so make sure you get it if you're interested in it. But anyways, with that said, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.